Hi, welcome to the Mobile World Congress. With over 2,000 exhibitors and 90,000 visitors, there's a lot to see here and it's quite overwhelming. But right now we're just going to take you over a few highlights that we've seen today. Despite only seeing one part of the impressive 100,000 meters squared, we were able to see a bit of everything. The main headlines from the first day of Mobile World Congress came from new product launches. In terms of mobile phones, Samsung showcased its flagship devices, the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge, which attracted everyone's attention, while HTC demoed its HTC One M9 smartphone. That was followed by wearables, such as LG and Hawaii's smartwatches. But it was walking by Mobile World Congress's never-ending booths, we were really able to get a proper feel of the event. We had the chance to talk to developers Game Insight, who let us try one of their new releases, Xmarks, a tactical shooter which will be launched in a few months on iOS to begin with, for free. We were also able to check out Microsoft's booth, where the company's Surface tablets were taking pride of place. We got a demo of some Windows 8 apps, but were more interested in Windows 10. We asked Microsoft about the new operating system, but they wouldn't tell us any more than we already knew. If you're interested, the build we tried is the same one already available for members of the Windows Insider program. We also got a chance to see our friends, the Android figures, at the Intel booth, where they showed us how HP Sprout works. This is a machine that generates 3D designs, or more like 2D with media. Also on the booth was a fantastic t-shirt that incorporates a camera. After that, we talked to TouchPal, the developers of a keyboard for iOS and Android that uses gestures to convert writing into text. It also comes with loads of emojis, which you can send to your friends. The most interesting devices on show were, like last year, wearables. In the case of Seat and its collaboration with Samsung, we had a look at how a watch can send information about the state of a driver to an application that is already on the market. We were also particularly impressed by Flexi, a multi-platform keyboard that works with a Samsung smartwatch. And there is still so much more to see at Mobile World Congress in the coming days.